Among the prayer requests that I have been receiving throughout the week, um, I'd like to, to share those uh, that I have received most recently with you. And when I say, let us pray to the Lord, please respond, Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for Tecla's cousin Priscilla, who has a new diagnosis of cancer and is anticipating a year-long treatment process. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also offer prayers for family members who are caregivers, those who are first-line respondents, working in hospitals and on the streets, responding to this crisis, the pandemic of the virus, that they might be strengthened in their work, that they might know that they are supported uh, by, by those of us who are sheltering in place, especially for our loved ones who are working in the hospitals. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also are praying for Jeff's Aunt Wilma, uh, who is living with the virus right now. We pray for her well-being, for her healing, and increased strength and peace of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And now let us join our hearts and minds together in prayer. God, in this time of being scattered and gathered, we pray your holy presence to bind us together, knit us as one family, as members of your family, who are struggling to find ways to connect, to break out of isolation, and know that there are caring hearts and minds bound together throughout the miles, across the spaces of cities, and even within our homes. We ask that as we are so very aware of distance and measurements, of numbers and fatalities, that you might be a presence of calm in our lives that it is through your spirit that we receive a peace that is beyond our understanding. For your son did promise, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled and neither let them be afraid. Lord, may we hold these words of his in our hearts throughout all the days ahead. For we pray as he taught us to pray by saying, Our Mother, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God's peace be with you always.